If you feel like you're stagnant in your CrossFit training, you're still a beginner after three to six months, or you want to know the fastest way to get to becoming an RX athlete, this is what my opinion is on the subject. A lot of people look at CrossFit.com and they state this like pyramid that has like metabolic nutrition, metabolic conditioning, weightlifting, gymnastics, and then sports specific. Now, I don't believe that this pyramid is true to the current state of CrossFit. What I think it is, obviously nutrition being number one, sleep and all that kind of stuff is awesome. But from there, weightlifting and gymnastics kind of hold the same weight well over metabolic conditioning, especially early on in your CrossFit journey. No matter how fit you are, if you get to a barbell and you can't lift it, your workout is over. If you get to the rig and you can't do it, your workout is over. But no one can necessarily not do cardio on a machine, a couple of burpees, etc. Most people won't be limited by their ability. They'll just be limited by their capacity. Um, but these other movements hold such a, such a cornerstone to your CrossFit workout that they can make or break your ability to progress. So what we're going to cover today is some of the factors that I find, some of the stories of some of the members at my gym and how they've progressed and what you guys can take away from that. At any case, if you're looking for a program, check out unboundathletic.com. Use code Tyler10. But let's jump into the video itself. So what I've seen for some of the athletes at my gym, some of the guys who've been progressing really fast is their focus of strength and gymnastic strength in their own time. So most of these guys come maybe three to four days a week as far as their CrossFit programming. They'll do the CrossFit class, which normally combines some form of element of strength anyway and or gymnastic strength. And then it has a Metcon after. These guys additionally in their own time will spend two to three extra sessions working on some other stuff that will help overall develop and round their programming. Let's start with what I think some of the great options or opportunities that you guys can hit if you're especially starting early on. Let's look at strength. I think that you should be doing strength additionally to your CrossFit program. This means before any CrossFit session, at least three times a week, maybe even four if you've got the time. What you should focus on, you should definitely be squatting one of those days, you should definitely be pulling from the floor, whether it's a deadlift, clean or snatch. And then you should also be pressing in some form, whether it's strict press, push press, thruster, push jerk, split jerk, etc. cetera. Um, additionally, you can add in some upper body pulling movements like strict pull-ups, um, chin-ups, uh, we can do dips, and then the other variation would just be a bench press of some form. Um, but prioritize if you had to do, if you have three days a week, you can only choose an extra three sessions to do any other movements. I would do squats, pull-ups, and pressing. They're probably the big three. You see a lot of movements in CrossFit dominate either the squatting pattern or the pressing pattern or a combination of both. You've got thrusters and wall balls being some of the most common movements that you'll see in any CrossFit workout. And they're a combination of both movement patterns plus a bit of bracing. Um, but these movements time and time again will have the most bang for their buck when it comes to overall training. You know, if you're able to squat to depth, if you're able to squat 140 on the bar as a male, 93 kilos on the bar as a female, your strength is gonna look really good in other elements of your training. Couple that with the pull-up work, if you can't do a strict pull-up, you're in a bit of trouble. A lot of rig gymnastics like the kipping pull-up, the kipping chest to bar, the bar muscle-up, and the ring muscle-up all have a pull-up requirement. Like you need to be able to pull yourself to a certain point before you transition over the bar. Same idea as with the dip, you need to be able to get your body down into the dip and press out of it to a certain extent to be able to do a ring muscle and to catch yourself in that top position. So without these things, you're not going to be able to progress further in the gymnastic sense of things. Couple that with handstand push-ups, handstand walks, wall walks, these challenging movements that all require some element of strength and stability and control. If we focus on these first and worry less about how fit you are, the fitness will come. Like not, no one, I've never seen a dude who's good at running win a CrossFit Games, right? Um, like they'll probably inherently do well in some circumstance, but at the same time, like there's going to be a limiting factor. Matt Fraser was incredibly strong. He was incredibly good at gymnastics and he was incredibly fit. He was good all around. And I always say like, you know, have a really well-balanced training program. Awesome. Conditioning just takes a shorter amount of time than strength you might as well focus on the big ticket item that's gonna take a longer time investment now while you're younger, while you're fresher, while you're newer, and while you're more responsive to the training, then focusing on cardio. If you don't like strength, and that's probably not, CrossFit's probably not your sport, maybe Hydrox or F45 or 
some of the you know tough mudders or things like that might be more relevant to you and using your crossfit training for that style of stuff will be ideal but if you really enjoy crossfit and competing you need to focus on those elements i would definitely say following some form of a pull-up program two days a week um, if you can't do a pull-up that'll help you develop look at touching different variations pronated supinated looking at holds rows um, developing the muscles of the upper back and getting more awareness of being on the rig and obviously developing your grip strength i say to all my athletes can't hold yourself for 20 seconds on the rig how do you expect to do 20 seconds worth of work being able to at least do a 60 second dead hang should be an ideal goal to go bigger and more unbroken on many of your sets so just a quick recap to the start we're looking at adding three additional training days into your program if possible or before you get into the crossfit workout 30 minutes early do a couple of squats focus on a bit of pull-up work do a bit of pulling from the ground whether it's snatch clean deadlift etc add these elements into your training we can press more if we can more thrusters, more strict press, more push press, more jerks, um, and then look at working the other side around, upside down gymnastics, wall walks, handstand push-ups, that kind of thing. If you're not too sure, you want more of a direct guide, a template, something to work off, check out unboundathletic.com slash online coaching, or we have programs already pre-written, the power building program, the pull-up program, our bar muscle up program. If you need strength, skill, work to help you get to your position. Otherwise, leave a comment down below. If any general questions that you have about this video, I'll be able to answer them and give you a bit more detail on this. But this is just what I've seen recent times at my gym. Some of the guys who've made huge progressions, they've gone from being an intermediate or even a scaled athlete in some senses to now being able to compete in RX comps very quickly within about a year. And they've just been focusing on these key points. Cool. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Like it. See you next time.